from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crone. 47 past the hour, 69 right now, later today, near 80. Some of our neighbors will stay in the upper 70s. Tulsa will just briefly hit 80. And then southern Oklahoma will be in the lower to mid 80s. And everybody's going to be a little cooler tomorrow, mid 70s for highs. 69 right now, south breeze, dew points at 55. Radar, this is what we're tracking in the short term. This is our cold front that we've been discussing for a while now. This will move across northern Oklahoma quickly this morning. So right in this area from basically Highway 412 north, across the far northern and eastern areas, there will be a chance for a couple of storms. Despite the early morning hours, one or two of these could get kind of strong, kind of stout, could produce some uh, locally heavy rainfall, gusty winds, maybe even some small hail. The probability for that is low, but again, not zero. And even though we're focused right in through here, there's enough energy just kind of zipping across the state that there may be a thunderstorm or two in far southeastern Oklahoma. So some Tulsa, Stillwater Pawnee, Pawhuska, I-35. There will be a few spotty showers in this area. May not be for every single location, but we do have the chance that goes from 6 a.m. until about 10 o'clock in the morning. The far northeastern areas, that's where a better opportunity will flare up very quickly this morning. A couple of storms in those areas could be stout and then will move rapidly to the east. Once we get past the early morning hours, this afternoon it's totally different. We're fine. Thursday and Friday's good. Our next system is arriving Saturday night into early Sunday. It's a little faster in some of the data. So looks like maybe Saturday evening, the front will pass the Tulsa area. And then as it encounters southern Oklahoma, scattered showers and thunderstorms will start to develop. We're already at a moderate chance along I-40 and a likely category along the Red River Valley. How about the Tulsa Metro? Still somewhat low probability Saturday evening. Some of that could linger into Sunday morning. Here's the future. If you can notice 10 o'clock this morning, I mean, this is gone. Probability is mostly out of here. And even the clouds will clear out with a gusty northwest breeze. Highs today, 78 in Pawhuska. You got a chance for a shower storm early this morning. Don't change your plans. Goes out fast. 78 and prior. 77 in Veneta. Veneta, you got a chance for a thunderstorm early, early this morning. Goes out quickly. Afternoon sunshine. 84, 85 McAllister, 85, 86 in Wilberton. And then overnight, let's say around 10, 11 to midnight, you'll notice more gusty winds out of the north for a couple of hours. That's basically a second front, and that's going to bring in drier air. So tomorrow morning, we're in the 40s. That's going to be a cool start. Sunshine tomorrow. North winds also at around 15 to 20 miles per hour. And our daytime highs will be even lower, very fall-like tomorrow into the lower and mid 70s area wide. So again, highs today, upper 70s and lower 80s. We have that window this morning. I'm keeping the probability on the low side for the early part of the day because it will move out quickly, but there will be a few isolated showers and storms across the far northern and eastern areas. And then Friday, 82, Friday night football is going to be fine. Saturday at about 84 to 86. The next front pushes through Saturday evening and early Sunday. We're going to cool down Sunday and then heads up next week. Even cooler weather, more fall weather returns Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday.